So this is a small Shimano caliper that's a two piston and these calipers are totally fine for a low power and low weight bikes. And if you're a light rider, you're completely fine and uh, these will do just a great job for you. But once you start playing with more power, more torque and uh, you're a heavy rider and you're uh, having a heavier e-bike, uh, this might not be enough for you. You might consider four piston brakes for sure, front and a rear. Definitely you should use bigger rotors like these lightly produced 220 millimeters. And if you're playing with some serious power like we do on these cyber bikes, this might be a good option to consider. These calipers are used on pit bikes or scooters or small motorcycles and you can see the difference in the size right there. <laughs> on this new batch of cyber bikes we decided to do a few upgrades and one of them are these motorcycle brakes. Because this frame has mounts for bicycle frames that was a bit of a challenging task to do and I'm very happy with the result and approach we took with these brakes. So just to give you a bit of an idea of what the development of this uh, looks like, we started with these simple templates that we first took measurements, had a caliper on a, on a rotor, took a measurements and created these simple templates to know and confirm where the holes are supposed to be, that nothing is in the way of this caliper and it can be freely moving the way it's supposed to. Then I modeled and 3D printed this plastic mount and adapter and I cut the thread into it, screwed it on this uh, on this caliper and mounted it on a bike. This plastic adapter is absolutely amazing help because it's it's done, it's printed within 40 minutes on these Prusa printers and, and you immediately see measurements, you immediately see angle. So then from there I did, uh, in both cases, front and rear brake, I did some adjustments, like the angle seemed to be a little bit off. One single adjustment printed another version to just confirm and then um, we we're pretty much ready for metal product. So then after we confirmed all these 3D prints, that's uh, nothing been easier than a coming to finished products that we know fit perfectly for our purpose. This is how the front one looked like. That was a little bit different shape obviously because of a different rotor size. We used 210 millimeter at the front and 190 at the back and we used four piston at the front and a two piston at the back. So this is going to be some serious braking power uh, right on these new cyber bikes. Regenerative braking is a is important part of our e-bikes and we use them in a 80 to 90 percent of all the braking powder. It's non-friction braking, it charges the battery uh, back and it just feels so sophisticated when you don't hear any noise. What needs to be considered in every e-bike is that you should have quality brakes for emergency braking or just in case you have any kind of electronics fail, you need to be able to stop the bike instantly. We absolutely love having a regen on a, on a left thumb. When you have a throttle on a right side and you always have brakes and like no motorcycle has this third dynamic element that is a variable regen on a thumb and it feels so sophisticated when you just, most of the riding is this. Sensors, that's, a, that's absolutely must on our bikes. When we have sensors that cut off throttle, that means when you brake with mechanical brakes, uh, your throttle is deactivated. And now on these light builds, we've been using uh, brake light too. So when we are riding, group of guys, and we go pretty aggressive most of the time, the first one is secured because everybody behind knows when he has some emergency braking. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys love what we've been doing here in a Czech Republic workshop. 
we're slowly moving towards having these machines full power straight legal on the roads and uh, having this quality brakes is absolutely must for all this required uh, annoying bureaucracy so stay tuned for more content in the future hopefully i'll uh, i'm able to share some of my knowledge and you can benefit from it don't forget to check more videos on this channel you can take a look at uh, my personal pics that i'm showing here and there is so much more coming in the future so stay tuned have a nice day and see you next time